All right, She-Hulk, episode eight, Rib It and Rip It. It is a episode. I will say that. <laughs> so Felicity, <laughs> let me know what you think. I thought this was the best episode that we've gotten so far, but that's because Daredevil was in it. Uh, so yeah. that, you know, makes the rest of the show pretty shitty, pretty in my opinion <laughs> yeah yeah it felt like um i mean this was the best of the bunch it felt like in the book of boba fett when the two mando episodes were the best by far like okay this character is here that's awesome don't really care about the rest of the story but it was cool to see him i will say you talked a few weeks ago in our uh, live stream like oh my god if they get jen and uh, matt together like what we're gonna riot and you called it <laughs> I wish you didn't. So that irked me a little bit. I, I, I wasn't feeling it, but I think it's just because I'm not feeling Jen Walters as a character. So I was hoping that I would be. I was hoping that throughout the course of this episode, she would grow on me. She hasn't so far, and we're at the second last episode. So I think that's how it's going to stay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, in eight episodes, I haven't really felt any type of relation to Jen or She-Hulk. Uh, and that's definitely disappointing. Uh, I also don't see what Daredevil slash Matt Murdock sees uh, uh, in Jen either. Uh, so yeah, them sleeping together did bother me. Uh, I'm not exactly triggered about it because I, I kind of was anticipating that, you know, based on how Jen has acted, uh, yeah. you know, in the episode so far or in these episodes so far. Uh, but uh, the whole walk of shame thing, that <laughs> did kind of bother me. Uh, it, it, I would have thought that it would have bothered me more. However, I think overall, surprisingly enough, Daredevil was presented pretty well in this show. You know, he actually came across as like a mentor to Jen mm. and She-Hulk, um, you know, at first in the show, they try to, you know, present Hulk as a attempted mentor uh, to Jen slash She-Hulk. Uh, but that didn't work out. I don't, I'm not sure if that's because he's a man and he's related to her and they had too much history and she hadn't had the chance to actually experience life as She-Hulk uh, mm -hmm. yet. Uh, but uh yeah, I, I, I was very surprised that Daredevil came off so well, accepting the whole walk of shame. Uh, but I feel like they did that because they just have a need to beat up on guys in this show. <laughs> he was the the best portrayal of a, of a male that we have seen thus far. I actually did laugh a little bit at the walk of shame. And then when her friend came in and was like, oh my god, there's a guy in a devil outfit doing the walk of shame. Like, yeah, that was me. That, uh, I was like, okay, sure. If I find it, it's a little bit funny. But I, I didn't love them hooking up, but whatever. I, I will get over it. Yeah. Um, I I just have a lot of disappointment with the show. Um, you yeah. know, I, I you know, they baited us with Daredevil. We finally got his episode. Uh, it was the best one that they've had. And I seriously doubt that they're going to be able to do anything good with that final episode uh, to get me back on board uh, with liking the show. You know, I just, it, it kind of just is what it is. I, I think they set the table and it just served us a overall nasty meal uh, and and gave us a you know a more than decent dessert uh, with Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> so you know overall the meal sucked except for the dessert, uh, and that's kind of where we are. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, for the past few episodes we've been like okay we're getting daredevil and then have been disappointed it actually inspired me a little bit i was so pissed off that we haven't gotten him that uh, i started watching the the original netflix well i guess it's on disney plus now but the daredevil series just because i was like i miss my man so that's been fun and i actually have enjoyed that more than even this episode so um not the biggest fan of just she hulk as a show but you know it's a sitcom it's just not for me i'm sure that other people do enjoy it but um yeah even the 
you know, the end where she, she even called out like, oh, everything's wrapped up. What's going to happen? Is there going to be a plot twist, a cliffhanger? I didn't really care about any of that. They, um, I, I didn't really get it at all. I was like, oh, okay, sure. They, they literally called her a slut. I was like, oh, is that a thing that we do now? Is that whatever? So even at the end, I was, they didn't draw me in for the last episode. Um, I know that she had like a look at the end and it's like, oh, who's that? But honestly, I don't care. So <laughs> yeah, that last bit with the banquet uh, was very uh, disturbing. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, for for a couple reasons. Uh, you know, obviously she's supposed to be the female lawyer of the year. Or she's nominated for that, but it ended up just being a participation trophy. So everybody that was nominated uh, got an award, which <laughs> I actually did think was funny. Uh, but, you know, then the whole sex tape thing. Uh, that was really that just, weird. That just doesn't make sense. Um, you know, and I, I understand her being upset about that. Uh, but just like turning in, like hulking out, basically. Um, you know, that part was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand wanting to turn off the monitors and stuff. Uh, but everybody was scared and ran out of the building. And then obviously damage control showed up. Uh, I don't know why she didn't choose to unmask the one guy she did lay her hands on. Um, so just, it's just very weird. A lot of the choices that they made, uh, in the show, they just really cared more about like subverting expectations rather than actually creating a good, uh, you know, character led show. Um, yeah. you know, at least that's the way I feel about it. Yeah, I agree for sure. I, I didn't understand the last 10 minutes. I think either I was like, oh, okay, so why are they showing this? And then she just, she hooks out, whatever. I would think as a lawyer, she'd, I don't know, even from the first episode, she was like, no, I don't have anger. I'm a woman. I deal with this stuff all the time. And obviously she's not dealing with this all the time, but that's just not exactly the reaction I expected. But I think that's the reaction that this i don't remember the group's name but i think that's the reaction they wanted yeah um, the intelligentsia yeah yeah so good for them i guess we'll see where it goes and i will watch the finale i'm i'm in it now yeah i i, I don't know what else to say she she's a horrible lawyer she's a horrible superhero hero uh and i don't expect that to uh improve <laughs> by the finale <laughs> I will actually say that the uh, courtroom scene with her and Matt Murdock, that was probably my favorite of the series so far. They actually did have a little bit of back and forth and it wasn't, you know, really accurate, but it was more accurate than the previous one. So I did have a little bit of fun with that because the, my main draw for this show was the law aspect and we haven't really focused on that, but just having a little scene of that and seeing the actual uh, superhero your stuff that was like okay fun fun stuff and then you know obviously that entrance was it actually wasn't as big of an entrance for daredevil as i thought he just kind of strolled on in like all right cool so that was a, a fun moment so i did enjoy this courtroom scene um but still not as much as i would have liked to well i really appreciated the irony of the fact that she got her ass kicked in court by matt murdoch and then we ended up with her winning this so-called female lawyer of the year award. Um, I did think that was, uh, you know, very ironic and funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm trying to think. I have nothing left to say about this. I'm not that excited. We'll see where it goes. Um, yeah, I don't really have very much else to uh, to say. Uh, you know, let's let's hope for a better than decent <laughs> yeah <laughs> finale <laughs> i think that uh, that's too high of an expectation honestly but you know we will uh, rib it and rip it as they say <laughs> <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments below um i mean we're, we're open to any conversations because although i'm down on this show i would really like to have my opinion changed i would really like to appreciate this show so let us know what you guys think in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe while you're at it Bye-bye.